Alright, it's, it's on. Got uh, the creeper trimmed down to 5 pounds 5 ounces. Put the wraith shocks back on it, running the sparks springs on it. I'm going to show you the weight here. Scale. Oh, it says it's 5 6. Five seven. That's odd. Why is it doing that? Okay. All right. Five seven. All right. Maybe it was laying on something before. I don't think anything's touching. It's odd that it has two different weights. I waited a second ago. It was five five. Now it's five seven. That's all right. Whatever. Definitely lighter than it was at six six. Um, got a twenty two hundred battery in there. Got fresh motors. 10 tooth in the front, 8 tooth in the back. Uh, nothing else really has changed. Polish the skid plate, hopefully to get it a little more slickness over the rocks. So that's about it. That's about all I did to it. Got about four and a half ounces in each front wheel. No weights at all in the back. I still have my breather holes plugged. I think if I pop the uh, super glue, the uh, hot glue off of there, the uh, tires will be a lot more compliant. But I'll just wait and see what happens. So yeah, man, ready to climb the wall and uh, pit my red cat against your AX10. And I'm hoping that your motors from uh, Holmes Hobby arrive so we can uh, check out Hammond. I have no doubt Hammond is going to be super capable. But I have a feeling that the uh, creeper is probably going to hold her hold her own against the AX10. I could be wrong. I uh, lost some of the droop. I liked I liked the droop, but I think a lot of that droop was because the uh, the spark shocks were completely dead. Uh, it just I just beat them up. They just I can't get them to uh, have any damping anymore. The wraiths at least have a little damping. You know they got a little. A little slowness to them, you know. Not a ton of it, but I'd really like it to be slower. But what can you do? So let's get it on, man. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>